Let's go to Bob Allentown, Pennsylvania, the great W.A.E.B., a Democrat. Go. Uh, yeah, hi, Mark. Uh, it was nice talking to you. you Thank know, you. I'm, By the way, how, how do you know? Uh, well, I don't know yet, but I listen to you. I've been listening to you for a couple of years now. Right, um, the, only, in, the only indoctrination in, in any type of uh, uh, political – basically, my political views were always fed by the unions. Uh, that's the only thing. I was always vote union you know, for your job. Uh, you know, you're a union worker, and we're for you. And something I've noticed, I just found out last week that the um, wife and I don't. I'm not at home, so I don't have any notes in front of me. Uh, right. There's a bill going through. Um, they're going after cement plants and uh, power plants because of coal and the mercury. And if this passes, what we were told by our plant manager, we're going to probably 30% of cement plants and power plants are going to shut down. With power plants shutting down, you know your electric's going to go. Uh, electric bills are going to go up. My company just closed two plants on Monday, and I might be getting laid off in nice. January. And they gave us a website to sign a petition to stop this bill from going through. And the plant manager basically said, but Obama did say he's going to veto it. Uh, it's almost like all he wants is maybe green warehouses in this country, but we can't build anything because we might get a couple. All right, let me slow you there. down. So there's a bill that would go through to prevent this, and Obama said he will veto it. I'm guessing it's Congress responding to the EPA or something of that sort. Uh, yes, yes. And I'm sorry I don't have all my paperwork with you. I just tried well, to Well, Bob, to I'm going to tell you something. The regulations, let's even forget about spending right now. The regulations that are coming out of this administration, specifically the EPA and the Interior Department, are killing industry, and they are killing agriculture. So what do we have left? Nothing. And by the way, we have rules coming out of NOAA that's killing our fishing industry. They're attacking our fishing industry. They're attacking our, our industrial center. They're attacking our farmlands. They're attacking our ability to produce electricity, to produce fuel. I mean, this this is what they mean, Bob, by fundamental transformation. Right, right. Well, I didn't vote for him the first time, by the way, but I'm definitely not going to vote for him this time. Yeah, well, the problem is too many in Pennsylvania did. That's my home state, and you're still going to get a lot of people, eh, where's the Democrat? You know, uh, eh, uh, straight Democrat. Do they still have the machines there where you push the big lever for the whole party lineup? On, you can do it on, it, it's an electronic machine now, but you can just push the Democratic button and go. Uh, I never did vote straight party, but you know what, I, 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 it's, it's, I'm almost, I'm feeling why am I even registered a Democrat anymore because, you know, I need to work. So I want the millionaires and billionaires to have millions and billions because they are the ones paying my salary. I'm a well, let's, let me ask you this. If, if we eliminated all millionaires and billionaires, how, how would that help guys like you? Uh, it wouldn't. We'd all be in the soup kitchen line, and I don't know who'd be paying for that because. Uh, but 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 even if even if you weren't in the soup kitchen line, the point is it doesn't. It, it's like a distraction. Do you know what I mean? Right, right. What is, what do they have to do with these policies coming out of the out of Washington that are going to shut down these plants where guys like you work? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, I drive my big SUV and I do cling to my my, my religion and my guns, and uh, you know so that's why I didn't vote for him in the first place. But it's it's not it's not only him. It's, it seems to be almost it seems to be party wide. Uh, I think the the air is much better now than it was even back in '96. Of course. I remember as a child where I went to school, there was three operating cement plants right within a couple miles of the school. And it would look like it snowed in spring with all the dust in the air. You don't have that anymore. So what's the problem? You You know, know, Bob, uh, if we don't produce our own cement, you know where we're going to have to get it from? Uh, China. I know they're opening up a a new port in New York. Uh, it's under construction. I think it's coming from Venezuela, South America, someplace. It's, and I remember the Democrats in New York last year. They were uh, having a, a like a big party, uh, um, celebrating this this new port. Well, but this port's going to cost jobs, uh, the, the American jobs. Yeah, because uh, they're importing you know. things we can produce. This is this is what gets me when people say, "Why are they exporting jobs?" And I'm saying, "Why are you, the government, exporting jobs? I mean, why are we subsidizing Brazil to drill for oil?" There's a lot of stuff going on here I just don't get. 
Oh, if I had, if if I have, I have an acre, and if, if I could get uh, gas out of my cell, shale on my property next to my house, next to my well, drill, baby, drill. That's the way. Can I, I tell you something? We have a pipeline that they want to build. The Canadian government wants to build it from their shale yeah, down to, from, into Texas. Into Texas, and we can't even get that built. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, you know I, how many jobs that would create, by the way? Thousands. In construction and then to maintain it, and uh, uh, it might help with our gas price. There was a big article in Popular Mechanics about that just recently, too. Uh, yeah, I, and, by, I and by the way, it. Bob, you were saying the price of electricity is going to go up. Let me tell you what we're headed for in this country. Brownouts and blackouts. It's not. We're not going to have electricity available for people to use when they hit their switch. Right. Yeah, that's true. I did get something from my power company not long ago where I, they can install a box in my house and any of my smart appliances during peak hours. They can turn down my air conditioning or my heat. Well, you know what? I work hard. If I want to have my heat at whatever I want it set at, I want it set there. Period. See, you're, End of story. Because you know? you're an American. You don't want to be exactly. told what to do all the time. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> all right, Bob. I, I hope things work out for you. I really do. God bless you. This is, this is so frustrating. It's just so frustrating. And then they do these things in your name. We're doing this for the people. We're doing this for the middle class. We're doing this for the laborers. You're doing what? Let me tell you folks something. Those people over at the Environmental Protection Agency, they've never picked up a piece of coal. They've never had oil under their fingernails. They've never changed oil in a car. They've never been on a farm and well, they may have been on a farm, you know, like on Halloween picking pumpkins, but you know what I mean. They've never worked a farm. And yet they want to tell everybody else how to work, how to live, what to do. I think Bob represents millions and millions of people. I don't care what the union bosses say. It's funny how they always hold on to their jobs, isn't it? They like power, just like those powerful politicians like power. They're largely unaffected by what goes on. But you are affected by what goes on. Obama has a jobs bill. Tell your damn bureaucracy to cut it out. That's the best jobs bill that we could have. But no, he's not going to do that. And the class warfare that he said was a game three years ago, well, that's his main tactic today. Look at this country. By now, we should be well out of this recession. Two and a half percent GDP growth. Are you kidding me? It ought to be five, six percent. The rest of the world is a basket case. Do you realize how much investment we could attract into this country under the right circumstances? Look at all the money they're pissing away. They go to these companies, these fraudulent, phony companies. Look at all this money we've had people call from the federal bureaucracy who are conservatives saying, you have no idea what's going on here. There's so much money. They're throwing it in every direction. And then... We have this super committee. It's like some damn pull-up bureau of Soviet Union era. And what do the Democrats want to do on there? Massively slash the defense budget. No more, no more, like they did it at all, domestic spending cuts. And a trillion dollars in tax increases. So there they go again. Massive defense cuts and a trillion dollars in tax increases while they're regulating the hell out of the private sector and killing it. And then we're all supposed to cheer. Wow, 2.5% growth. 2.5% growth is nothing. It's nothing. Imagine the growth we would have if they take their boot off our throats. They're not looking out for the working man. They're not looking out for any man or woman. They can talk about the rich. They can talk about whatever they want. When they issue regulations that shut down plants, that shut down coal mines, that shut down oil rigs, those aren't millionaires and billionaires who are losing jobs. And a lot of us need to pay attention to what's going up and down the uh, the coasts, too, with the fishermen, the commercial fishermen. They're getting killed by this NOAA, which is supposed to be tracking the weather and so forth. NOAA. Destroying our fish industry. All right, folks. You know, it makes you want to go to sleep, doesn't it? And I've got the perfect bed for you.